Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're back with another video for you guys today and today we'll be taking a look again at future client so I had a poll and a lot of you guys voted and you wanted a re-review on future client so with that I have a whole change log open and we'll be going over all their recent updates from the last time I have reviewed it which was a long time ago so that a lot has changed there isn't a whole lot I can really showcase a lot but I can tell you guys what they changed and show you more of the GUI and stuff like that and where to find some of these options. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So starting off, uh, you can see that we have ESP chams on, whatever you want to call them. And that is one of the new features. You can see it's a glow feature. You know, it's just a, it's a minor feature, but we might as well go over the new options. So we got ESP here and there is a glow feature. You can change how much they glow and you can see in the back, the pig is changing like glow stuff because I'm changing the setting here but yeah glow so that's a new thing in ESP and let's just go through the list of everything they've added that was kind of random I know to showcase ESP but I figured it was new we already have it on so we might as well showcase it but with the full list of the change log here uh, we'll be going over some of the more in-depth stuff later on but some of the basic stuff, they added anti-spam, so we've got anti-spam now, that's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. I think it's in here somewhere, yeah, anti-spam, miscellaneous, right there. And they also added view model, which is somewhere right there, so we got view model, uh, hole fill, which I'm surprised Future didn't have hole fill before. Uh, from what I remember it did, but I guess it didn't, so hole fill right here, very helpful, that's a crucial thing for Crystal PvP. Uh, we have a fake player command, I don't know the command and it doesn't really tell me it on the change log so uh but yeah if you guys find the fake player command definitely let other people know in the comments because i don't know it but it is a thing so the fake player command we also have arrow move to no slow so i think I i'm not sure what that does i haven't looked at that yet but no slow would be in movement so if we look here you'll see arrow move uh, whatever that does, it is there. So if you guys know what that does, no slow, arrow move, very cool stuff right there. And they also added lightning to no weather, so when you want to see, when you don't want to render the rain, because it's always raining or something, lightning is now available, so you won't render lightning, and I'm assuming the sound of lightning. I think that's included as well. Uh, next we have phase mode wall, so once again, this is an exploit, so phase right here, and you can change the mode to wall or any of this other stuff. All these other options were available before, but mode wall is right there for phase. So that is very cool. New features means it's a better client. Very cool stuff right there. Uh, we also have bordered name tags, basic stuff. I don't really need to show that. That's basic, not that fun and exciting. We've got self fill under the custom block section. I don't know what that is, but it's a thing now. And explosions to no render. This, I have no idea how it wasn't a thing, but it is a thing now. So no render, wherever we find no render, right here. Uh, you can turn on all these different ones. Explosions is finally an option. You can just turn off explosions though in the normal Minecraft settings, but it is nice to have it as a no render feature. So that is included in future client now. Very cool stuff. Uh, next, we have the color setting for whole ESP. So, as you guys know, we're, we're just in a basic survival world, though. But if, if you're at bedrock, say this hole is safe, it would be green. And say this hole is yellow, then it's kind of safe. And the red means it's death. So, very cool stuff. You can change the colors on that to make blue death if you wanted to. Uh, all that fun stuff right there is now included in Future Client. Uh, block overlay is available in no render too, so you can uh, not render the block overlay, which is very cool stuff. Uh, you have glow quality, we've already run over. Uh, auto switch to silent speed mine or whatever. So somewhere right here, right here, we've got auto switch silent right here in speed mine. So once again, more settings, more fun stuff like that. And I won't be going over all the other stuff we did in the last future client video you guys can obviously go watch that check it out if you guys are curious for the more basic overall review and once again this client is compatible with baritone though i just don't have it 
uh, installed right now on future client but you can install baritone and when you do it should show up in the other tab right here and you should see baritone and obviously you can run the commands in the chat using the prefix which is a period a dot so yeah moving on we've got auto crystal so auto crystal has had tons of improvements in future client since we've last reviewed it and I'm just gonna go over the list here. Obviously, I can't show Auto Crystal. Everybody knows this. I, if I tried to show it, it would not be that accurate. So I don't want to give you guys like inaccurate showing of the updated stuff because I'm awful at Crystal PvP. But Auto Crystal, we'll just go over some of the main super cool stuff they've added with Auto Crystal. So, all right. Sorry about that, guys. We are back. I just had to take a call. But as, anyways, as I was saying, some of the features they have added to Auto Crystal, uh, we've got improved placement. So uh, where the Auto Crystal places, that's pretty self-explanatory. We've got better optimizations to improve performance. Uh, that's just what it says on the change log. Better target selection and accuracy. Improved attack, safety, yaw step, sequential, and swing. So all of those options are now uh, improved. So we got sequential right here, just as. Uh, example right there and yeah all of those options are improved with auto crystal which is insane they've also added a ton of features as well to auto crystal they have added added a weight semi and full modes to auto crystal so you can set times and settings there as well added an anti-weakness setting so you won't be weak when you get splashed with a potion of weakness obviously and they have added multitask and while mining so you can still place crystals while mining that is a very nice feature so when you're trying to break somebody's obsidian hole or whatever whatever you do uh you can now place and be in combat while you're mining with auto crystal which is very very helpful they've also added block destruction i think that just means the crystals you can change them to break blocks i'm not 100 percent sure on that but block destruction is now an option uh and they've added boost so whatever boost does boost is there uh and ticks egg ticks existed so you can change timings probably uh attack delays all of the, all that stuff right there so auto crystal got a huge rework in the in the last future update uh very crazy stuff right there and very helpful useful items uh next nuker nuker got an entire rewrite so they rewrote the whole algorithm of nuker and they've added timing, delay, and strict direction. Obviously, Nuker is not known to work on a lot of servers unless you're breaking like grass or something like that. But Nuker did get a whole re rewrite. So that is very cool. Uh, no fall, they have added reverse mode and distance. So if we just head into no fall here, you will see distance right there. I'm not sure here. I think the mode is, yeah, reverse right there. So we've got reverse mode and distance right there. Uh, next is no slow improved the NCP strict with inventory moves. So that's just anti-cheat stuff, kind of. So they've improved that and they've added air strict. And they've left a little note that says 42B2T while eating in the air. So very cool stuff, probably very helpful. Anti-aim is now improved when pausing, when interacting with said item, whatever. Uh, and random mode to pitch and yaw with anti-aim so right here we've got random mode gotta find it random right there and it's the same with pitch as well uh moving on we've got anti-afk so passive rotate if you go to anti-afk here wherever it is uh let me find it anti-afk right there it was right above what i was doing if you turn that on i think it's on by default yeah passive rotate so if we turn on anti-afk uh i think we have too many options on or you can kind of see yourself moving i haven't configured that at all yet or even tested that out but keep that in mind anti-afk uh, it'll do what it does it's also saying unknown command in the chat i think i have something going on with the settings there but Anti-AFK, there are n new options for anti-AFK, so very helpful stuff. Uh, with extra tab, they have added pooled improves player list performance. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but it, once again, is an option in extra tab right here. Pooled, as you can see right there. They've also added sorting options. 
right here so you can see vanilla length ping i think this is just for the tab list or player list if the server offers it and other minor improvements and bug fixes they say for the extra tab option so the, those are pretty much all the main changes to future client that are important there's also just tons of stability and bug fixes all that stuff so i will leave a link to the change log in the description if you guys are curious and checking it out because i did leave some stuff out just because it's not that important like there's some rewrites to different different modules but they aren't as significant so i just went over some of the significant ones and Hopefully that covers and gives you a more updated idea of where Future's at. I think it's a lot more of a viable client now with uh, tons of the other features they have. But what I just remembered, probably one of the things I was thinking about the most actually while doing this video, and I just remembered it, I almost forgot this, I almost just left this out. Uh, Future now has, let me find it, they have auto XP, which finally right like finally like i needed this when when i was practicing in crystal pvp future didn't have auto xp but now it finally has auto xp so it huge thank you to the future devs for finally adding that that's that's insanely helpful for repairing gear or at least when i was uh crystal pvp and with my kits and stuff like that uh i always used xp potions to repair so that is very helpful for me and anybody else who crystal pvp is like that but yeah that is pretty much uh, all the updates future has to offer currently and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the video hopefully this covered uh what you guys wanted because there wasn't a whole i know i didn't show a whole lot of stuff but there wasn't a whole lot to show there's just kind of minor gui improvements changes and different stuff they've added but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the video hopefully you've, you've learned something and i will see you in the next one for the probably an impact re-review because that's my most popular video and it was a really crappy review and i know a lot more now so yeah well i'll probably be the next video but see you later guys